Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. The voice for the here and for back, na the voice for the Russian military, their navy, as they approach a small island for Ukraine, where they call them na Snake Island. Ladies and gentlemen, today na Sunday, number twenty-seven day for this month of February, twenty twenty-two. My name is Kapu Daniel, the Deputy Defense Chief, the anti kidnapping czar of the Ambazonian Governing Council, aka Sense Pass King. We want to welcome for our daily podcast, a program where we bring a fact, critical information for help our people for navigate this journey onto our liberation and independence. Welcome. Yesterday, we didn't get a big fundraiser with Ambazonian them all over the world, being led by the Ambazonian governing council mission usa for guide our people for contribute money for the armed resistance for ground we will get for that but a story where they come from ukraine it inspire the whole world i want bring them for now our ambazonian people this story now a group of 15 ukraine army where then decide for shidong for a small island where they call them say snake island for defend them against russia invasion even when they be no say they no go fit survive and they no go fit defeat the Russian army. Wanna listen? For that audio, now the Russian commander for the ship where they approach the island, he identify himself. Say this is the Russian military. He did come. We did ask when I gonna put down when I gun them when I surrender for avoid unnecessary death. Now the Ukrainian commander that way the lead a 15 group of soldier it talks a go and F yourself to the Russian military. The Russian bomb the island onto all the 15 military people them the be be killed. Their videos where they be making for the island, it then be shared all across Ukraine. It then inspire a whole nation for Shidong and fight for their country. Shortly after you, Russia it launches war against Ukraine, most of the Ukrainians they start pack their cargo. The war be they expect over one million of them for cross into the border into Poland. After the video of this soldier, them their story it go out. Over sixty percent of people the way they be they run the war then decide for turn back and for fight together for for liberate their home. The Ukrainian president Zelensky, if he don't pass order, say make no man picking for the age of eighteen to sixty, me they no run war. Despite that, people they be the run war. But after they be see the video for these fifteen soldiers, they more than die for that island. The the Ukrainian police them, including volunteer men them, they be open train them, move all man picking the way they, they run for the war, me then go fight. Because of the bravery of these young men who sacrificed their life to defend the Snake Island, thousands and if not millions of Ukrainian people that are in row for fight and defend their country. The president of Ukraine is denied for run, even though America the offer for taking out, he decided for Shidong for fight. The mayors, the stars, celebrities of Ukraine that then decide for pick up gun, even the opposition party for Ukraine, the leader, the former president of Ukraine, Polishenko. He too, he then decide for carry gun for fight for defend their country. All of them be willing for die. The European countries them, where they be, they be reluctant for support them. In particularly the Germans, where they get good business with Russia, they then decide for reverse their decision for send ammunition, lethal weapons them for Ukraine for support them for fight because they don't see the courage of their president. They don't see the courage of their people them for be willing for pay the ultimate price for defend their sovereignty and their territorial integrity. The European Union and the American overnight they don't change their decision for cut Russia off the swift payment when a very important transaction it don't elect now Western Union but now one for countries them, their central banks them, where you go punish Russia a lot this decision it be made simply because the war it don't realize say the people them for Ukraine then be ready for fight and die for defend their country. If Ambazonians them they need any inspiration for know the value of freedom, the value of territorial integrity and their sovereignty, the value of our nationalism, 
the people of Ukraine should inspire our people to fight and die for our country and be ready to pay the ultimate price like the brave hero, brave heart, General Mba Ivor Ibidan Shoui and laid the foundation for Ambazonian resistance against Cameroon's subjugation and recolonization. Like our brave hero, yesterday General Ifang Itok said them be the, the sacrificial lamb, lamb they don't choose for fight and die. We don't see how they kill Ambazonian fighters them in their numbers, bury them, their colleagues, they bury them, cry, wipe their face, carry on their gun, continue the battle because they know something that is bigger than life. The sovereignty of the people, the freedom of our homeland, it is worth the sacrifice and we must all be inspired to even join back home and do everything humanly possible to fight and save Southern Cameroon and our way of life away from La Republic to Cameroon and their corrupt system. International policy, international position, it change vis-a-vis -vis a country depending on how they see the resilience of the people them. Definitely our ghost town every country Sunday and the policy them, symbolic ban of Brasaris Mimbo, the ban of Cameroon government schools should be taken very seriously by our citizens who want freedom. Perhaps, perhaps the white man will see our bravery and somehow they will change. But ultimately, the decision to defend our homeland must come from us. We must tap into our underbelly to look for the courage to fight and make the necessary sacrifices to have our own freedom. One of a big inspiration will Udan Siam now the protest where they go on for inside Russia against the invasion of a sovereign country it will only be limited for day. We don't see say Chelsea Football Club will be one of the famous club. The owner when a Russian Iran abandoned in control for that club because of the shame for their country for take aggression against another country. People them from Japan, New York, Paris, London, they don't rise up in protest of Russia aggression against Ukraine. This it be the same way with the war be rise up together, not government, but the people of our streets to rise up against American aggression against sovereign Iraq. This one it could give hope for Ambazonians. Say humanity is still alive. There is still good out there. Human beings are still feeling compassion towards their fellow human beings. The world have rejected occupation. The world have rejected aggression and the use of force by strong strong country to dominate and impose their will on weaker country that should give us hope to continue to fight until our independence is attainable is attained the old generations of the nijon fundis who have bought into the lie the enemies and the occupier the slave mentality that we should simply surrender to an occupying army because we are weak we are not capable of defeating the army of Cameroon because they are the giants. They have failed. They will be on the wrong side of history. History will be on our side. Humanity exists. Human rights laws are indeed not just United Nations Charter, but they are engraved in the very nature of man. We must fight foreign occupation. We must fight for our right of self-determination. This is what makes us human. Nelson Mandela be talk, say for sacrifice or compromise any of your human rights, take away the very nature of your humanity. This is about the soul of our people, the humanity of Ambazonia, our self-worth. It is worth it. <clears throat> it is worth the sacrifices on the ground. It is worth our treasures from the diaspora. I go take this moment for to salute the bravery of one uh, senior comrade. Christian, Christian Christmas Ebini, Seseko Christmas Ebini, a strong supporter of the IG, where after all the debate and the rivalry between the two factions, he joined us, the Ambazonian Governing Council, yesterday for raise support for our forces under as we, in the, as we did carry on with the fundraiser yesterday. To say I'm sorry, I think my behavior was not very appropriate. That's why I came back. And I apologize. I was a little bit too aggressive unnecessarily. And uh, I just came back to say I am sorry. And if me as a pack can come back to children and say I'm sorry, I am, I am very happy with myself that I have that kind of feeling, that I can be this kind of person 
to not be arrogant to say, I am sorry to my children if I did something wrong. And I think my behavior was not right. And I apologize to all of you. Thank you very much, Pa. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm Seziko Ebini, he donated uh, 500 US dollar for the fundraiser who organized them yesterday. And I patriot and a highly respectable person. We expect such inspiration from all our elderly men. Despite our differences, we must all join hands together when it comes to defend homeland and to support the resistance back at home. For other news, the Ambazonian Governing Council, the leadership, he get a two-hour meeting with a group where they call them the Team Act with them for the Swiss deal. They will get the meeting, then discuss a press statement. It will be released from the President's Office of the Governing Council. It read as follows. Today, we took another bold step in our tremendous effort to work together. For the first time, the Egg of Sea leadership held two-hour meetings with Team Act. It was a meeting pregnant with emotions and camaraderie consultation between the two teams will continue signed dr cho lucas ayaba ladies and gentlemen we will continue to fight for our freedom and continue to make the necessary sacrifices the word of antonio guterres the same secretary general of the united nation we become for cameroon he can collect a golden statue he can talk he cry say for the sake of humanity make Russian President Vladimir Putin pull out the troops from Ukraine. This is the saddest moment in my tenure as Secretary General of the United Nations. I started this meeting of the Security Council addressing President Putin and telling him from the bottom of my heart Stop your troops from uh, an offensive to the Ukraine. Give peace a chance because too many people have already died. During the meeting, President Putin announced a special military operation in the Donbas and uh, required the Ukrainian troops to lay down their arms. So in the present circumstances, I must change my appeal. And I must say, President Putin, in the name of humanity, bring your troops back to Russia. In the name of humanity. It'd be very sad to say over 30,000 Ambazunian and then die more than 500 villages burns to the ground targeted killings are continuing war crimes are being perpetrated by the cameroon military under the same disguise they are coming to protect our civilians they are coming to build schools they are coming to make road the cameroon government their excuse for genocide is not different from that of the russian the white men the international community may be racist may not consider that black lives matter in Ambazonia, but the message is clear for all occupiers who use the false pretense of keeping peace to invade and kill and destroy humanity to get the clear message. Mr. Pobia, take your troops back to Yaoundé. Eventually, we know our day will come, but for now, we are seen as the bottom of the food chain. It is up to us to fight our way through, to make our voices heard. The war may be racist. The war might treat us as primitive black people who cares nothing but as savages. And the enemy will do the same to promote savagery amongst us. We have seen fake videos from the Cameroon DDR Center staging the barrier of girls alive. We have seen the Cameroon state bribing Ambazonian so-called leaders to perpetrate violence against our people and promote kidnapping for ransom in order to demonstrate savagery as a means to store international support. We have seen people paid agents provocateurs, agents of La Republic, 
to come and ask our own people to chop off the hands of civilians using aggravated excessive use of force that amount that amounts to war crimes against our civilians simply to demonstrate to the war that we are what the white people think we are savages but that is not who we are the adf have led the defense by building a force by insisting of a code of conduct and it has been embraced and collaboration is in force and we hope perhaps if our people focus on the effectiveness of this god-given institution that we have we will be able to define to the international community what the struggle really is all about we will be able to navigate our way against the corruption and bribery the cameroon robust intelligence service we battle an, an, an army and a savage propaganda machine that is beyond comprehension and our people cannot better appreciate but trust me we need to be focused we need to be very efficient for us to have a chance for the world to hear the voice and the cries of our people and to see the blood that flows on the streets of Ambazonia in the right perspective. We need not just articulate leaders, we also need a command and control, disciplined force and people who can recognize the work of the intelligence service of the Cameroon government. Otherwise, the war will not have a day to see we for who we are. We don't hear testimony for Thibaut Nagy. We don't hear the challenges of the international community for ready see us and see our problems the way they are. Cameroon have paid collaborators. We will go and redefine what we stand for. We will continue to fight to redefine what the struggle is. Like we say, the revolution shall not be televised. The media, the arm, propaganda paid journalists, intimidated journalists, journalists who are afraid of their life, who continue to be used to twist and turn the story of our sovereignty and our fight. But it is up to us whether we will empower the right leaders, we will empower the right people that can see us through. God bless Ambazonia. So God help us all. <laughs> Fight for freedom, resist the foreign occupation and subjugation, fight for our dignity, fight for our humanity, fight for our right as a free people. We shall overcome. The truth is on our side. The writing is on the wall. God bless you all. Capodania signing off.